What are the implications of introducing complexity into economic theory? Well, um, I think complexity is really an interesting issue that, first of all, we need to consider that much more in our theory of economic systems. But second of all, uh, we need to be able to handle complexity. And most people have the wrong way of thinking about complexity. So they would say we need to control complexity, but this is exactly what doesn't work well usually. And uh, so we should rather kind of embrace complexity or harness complexity, and that is something that you need to learn. So you can do that by guided self-organization, where you basically use the forces in the system for your own purposes. Sometimes it's enough to change the interactions a little bit to reach the outcome that you want to have automatically. So the system will do the job for you and that uh, makes it very efficient, resource efficient, so you would not have to invest a lot of money into forcing the system to do something that you want it to do. It would also be more resilient to perturbations and all these kind of things. So that's a completely different approach. And uh, some of the complexity we have in our systems today results from diversity. We know that humans and companies and whoever has a lot of difficulties uh, to handle diversity. But it's one of the biggest assets of humans. So if you compare the human species with other species, there are a number of particularities that make us successful. One is the social character of humans. The second uh, one is that information plays such a big role for us. But there is another point, which is diversity. We're, we're individuals, we're not ants. Um, ants are also social species, but they're genetically identical within uh, the same family, say. And, and we are culturally different, you know. But, but that's also the reason for the huge speed of cultural evolution and the enormous innovation rate. So diversity is actually the driver, the motor of innovation. We need to recognize that social diversity is something valuable that deserves to be protected in the very same way as we have learned to protect biodiversity. So we should, however, also learn how to better harness or embrace um, this diversity. And for this, we may also make use of new kinds of technologies. I believe that one of the technologies that will be really highly important in the future are reputation systems. Reputation yeah. systems are actually good for uh, sellers and for buyers. Sellers can sell their products at a higher price if they have a good reputation. They could also sell products with good qualities, which were hidden before because people just saw the price tag and all the other things basically became unimportant because the information was not there. Reputation systems can change that. And so the buyers will get a better service. Um, the reputation system basically empower both sides, the buyer and the seller. And uh, I think it can also be a principle that helps us to overcome tragedies of the comments that we had in our society and uh, economy for hundreds of years. So global warming, overfishing, environmental exploitation, um, tax evasion, free riding, whatever, you know, all those problems are basically still unsolved, but reputation is one of those uh, evolutionary mechanisms th that actually are able to stabilize cooperation in social dilemma situations, I mean, in situations where cooperation would otherwise be unstable, although it's desirable for everybody. Mm -hmm.